Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna talk about style transfer, one of the coolest uh, use case of the image editing. Previously, in order to achieve the style transfer, we needed a control net, the models, and the image editing models like Flux or STXL in order to create the image and the depth map uh, provided by the control net models. But with the upcoming release of image editing model like one image, we managed to achieve the same results using only text prompt. And the fidelity of the image was also very good. However, with this Quan Image Edit Plus, the style transfer was not achievable. So today, I will show you how you can reach uh, these uh, results using a combination of uh, Bora and the Quan Image Edit Plus Nunchaku version. And you will be uh, changing the style of your images by only uploading your uh, target image. So without further ado, let's dive into tutorial. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is, as always, uh, download the necessary model. And to do that, you can just use the link under my description. And we're gonna starting with the image realism LoRa. This LoRa is a very small file, so you can use this link to download it. Then we're gonna also need the color manga LoRa, and you can also use this Civet AI link to, in order to download it here. As you can see, this model allows you to change the style of a realistic image into anime style. Good. Once it is done, make sure uh, also to choose the right Nunchaku uh, model for your graphic uh, card. For my case, I am using this uh, R32 Quen Image Edit Lightning version, which allows me to use the, the 8 step uh, on the key sampler. Once it is done, make sure to go to a comfy wire root folder, place your LoRa's file here. Then for the Nunchaku version, just enter the unit uh, folder and paste your file here. Okay, once it is done, make sure to open up comfy UI and you can drag and drop my workflow here. Okay, now we have everything in order to create our art. The first thing is the, to select the necessary model. Here, make sure to select your Quan Image Edit Nunchaku version. I am setting the CPU offload to auto. Number of blocks is set to 5, and I found out that it was the best number in order to give me a good result in a short amount of time. And the use pin memory is set to disabled. So I strongly suggest you to use uh, these parameters. Then it comes the LoRa loader. Make sure to select the Quan Realism LoRa. The strength is also set to 1. And I don't recommend you to change this value since uh, 1 give me the best results. You will also need the, the Quan Clip model for, for the load clip and the Quan VAE here. If you don't have this, you can uh, also check uh, the provided workflow on the browse template here. All you need to do is type in Quen open up any of this uh, workflow and you will find the link uh, for uh, this uh, clip uh, and the VAE models. As for the latent, it is set here from this subgroup. So first thing that you need to do is upload in your image as I did here. Then the image is going to be scaled to a certain resolution and it is set to one megapixel. So th with these nodes, you will be able to upscale your images uh, into uh, one megapixel and the main difference between this uh, nodes and the scale image to pixel is the resolution and the composition of your image here it's gonna upscale your image while keeping this uh, resolution or the composition between the height and the width however in this uh, nodes you're gonna change uh, the composition of the image and you will end up with the square image so i advise you to use uh, the scale image to pixel once it is done, this image is going to be encoded using a VAE and uh, its latent is going to be set automatically here. The next step is the text encode and as you can see, we are using the text encode Quan Image Edit Plus which uh, work the best with this uh, model. Uh, we have multiple sockets but this time we're going to only use the image one and as you can see, I said change the style of the image to anime style and for uh, the Quen negative, uh, I set anime, 3D, line art, and azing girl. Once it is done, all the necessary data is going to be uh, transferred to the sampler. And if you play closer look here, I am using the F sampler. As we saw on my previous tutorial, the F sampler uh, can give us a boost uh, between 20 and uh, 16% in image generation. I did include that on this uh, new workflow in order to achieve uh, good results. 
and it is a good combination with the Nusha conversion which is quite fast in order to uh, generate your images so make sure to use this F sampler if you have a low VRAM graphic card or if you want uh, to gain some generation time the steps is set to 8 the CFG is also set to 1 we are using a simple scheduler and the Euler as a sampler and uh, the main difference between the key sampler is we have here the skip mode and the verbose mode make sure the, to set this to true as for the skip mode set it to adaptive and the main key of uh, this f sampler is gonna do some interpolation on the epsilon uh, while generating your images uh, without uh, calling your model every uh, steps so uh, that's how the key sampler works it's calling your model uh, every steps uh, during the eight steps generation in order to get the epsilon however for the if sampler there, uh, there are algorithms that can uh, estimate your uh, epsilon in order to obtain the same results so that's how uh, we managed to get uh, the same results in a short amount of time and uh, obtaining a good boost once it is done the image is going to be saved here as long uh, for the first image here as you can see, I have two save image. This one is for our results, and the second one is uh, set the image compare here in order to see the main difference between the input and the output. Okay, now I will click run and I will show you the results that we can get using this workflow. Okay, we have our first results here. As you can see, it managed to successfully change the style of the image without losing consistency or a pause changing. The hands looks quite uh, good and uh, consistent. As for the head and uh, expression, are also very uh, satisfying. So, in order to change this uh, style, I used here this uh, as the text prompt to change the style of the image to photorealistic instead of anime. As for the Laura, I used the Quan anime into realism base. And you can find all the necessary link here of the Laura model that I used. The results that I get is very acceptable. However, we are still missing some realism uh, in order to achieve good uh, realistic images. Starting with the skin of the girl, as you can see, it looks very flat and plastic. The eyes also doesn't look quite good. It is like a dull eyes. As for the hair and the mask here, it is not a good texture. In order to fix that second problem, I managed to include another group here. You can just enable it by using this fast uh, group button. And as you can see, we are using one image uh, generation model. Uh, not the editing version, but uh, the ones with the dedicated for image generation. We could use the SRPO, Flux SRPO or one uh, 2.2 uh, models in order to fine tune our uh, images. However, I wanted to create one single workflow using uh, Cohen uh, models. So it's up to you now for the fine tuning steps. You can choose any other uh, models like uh, SRPO, Flux, or one 2.2 model. So here we are still using the Nusha conversion of uh, this uh, Cohen image. It also included the 8 step version. I am uh, using the same parameters as for uh, the Cohen image edit plus. The model is combined with the LoRa model. And uh, I also add an, uh, another LoRa for realism named Quen uh, Fly. My realism strength is set to one. Then everything is plugged into the key sampler. So this time I did not use the F sampler. And the main reason behind this is uh, the F sampler doesn't have uh, the denoising value. As you can see, all you have here is the steps and the CFG. However, on the key sampler, we can control our denoise value. And that's the main key of this uh, fine tuning steps. You, we need to change the denoise value in order to conserve composition and the poses of the image. And the best way to achieve that is uh, using this denoising value. So as you can see here, I all I need to do is input my image, for example, this one. Then let's paste this here. If you have a graphic card higher than uh, six gigabyte of VRAM, you can bypass this. Enable uh, the two groups here and click run it will automatically do the work for you however since i am uh, using uh, a low vram graphic card i needed to do this uh, task so i needed to load my image here bypass this also bypass those two nodes related to one image edit and click run in order to obtain my results so it, what is gonna do is is gonna create uh, an automating prompt using the france to run models 
then with the combination of uh, this uh, style selector here for example let's select the cinematic it's gonna create uh, a prompt which is gonna help us in order to achieve the realism boost of our final results auto generating prompt is gonna set to prompt zero here and it's gonna be encoded on clip text encode then the conditioning is gonna be plugged onto the key sampler here and we're gonna it's gonna create our image as for the denoise value make sure to select the low denoise value lower than 0.4 and higher than 0.2 so for this image i'm gonna set it to 0.3 then let me show you the results by clicking run. Okay, here we have our results and you can see that I used different denoise value. The first one is 0.3 and you can observe the main difference between this image and uh, the first image. This, let me just bring this here. First image looks uh, quite uh, dolly and plastic. However, this one looks more realistic with the fine tuning steps. The textures looks good, especially the hair and the clothes. Uh, for as for the face, uh, the eyes looks more uh, realistic compared to this one. It looks more uh, dolly uh, eyes. As for the skin, we still have uh, practically the same uh, skins. And the best way to refine your skin is using the SRPU version of the Flux. Here I am using the noise value of 0 0.4, and it is also more impressive, especially for the face. The expression looks more uh, natural and realistic. As for the texture too. However, we still have this problem uh, of crossed fingers here. And the same goes for the denoise value of 0 0.5. The image also looks more realistic, but we have this uh, changing of the clothes here. So uh, it depends on what you want to achieve in order uh, to choose your denoise value. Like you can, if you want high image fidelity, you can use the denoise value between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. And if you want more realism, you can choose the denoise value of 0 0.5. I also did a test with other images of uh, anime characters. And you can clearly see that the fidelity of uh, this first uh, subgroup here, it managed to uh, preserve the composition of the image whilst uh, changing the style. And it was the case for many other images like here and here. However, the main problem of uh, this uh, coin realistic Lola is it is creating a dolly uh, realistic images. That's why we needed the fine tuning steps. And you can clearly see the main difference here. All the created images uh, using the first uh, subgroup, the Quen Edit Plus, was uh, fine tuned using this uh, realism aura, and uh, the results uh, was quite impressive compared to the original Quen realism aura. So uh, the fine tuning step is necessary in order to obtain good uh, and consistent results with uh, good professional quality. Okay, now. If you are uh, targeting uh, an anime results, which is uh, practically the reverse process of what we saw just right now, so we need to do some modification in order to achieve that. I'm gonna choose uh, this uh, first image. This is a soldier lady here, which is quite realistic and impressive. And if you want uh, the anime style version of this one, all you have to do here is changing the Laura to Quen Edit uh, Color uh, Manga Base. Make sure to select this Laura. Then on the prompt section here, change uh, the prompt to change the style of uh, the image into anime style. As for the negative prompt, you can uh, remove those one or you can leave it as it is. It's gonna not affect our uh, final results. As for uh, the fine tuning steps here, you're gonna select the result provided by the first workflow. Copy the image here. And on the style selector here, make sure to type in anime and select this one this way you will uh, achieve uh, a good uh, final results with this fine tuning steps i'm gonna set the, the denoise value to 0 0.4 then disable this one let's click run and see the first results of this image okay we have our first results here and as you can see it managed to create the anime version of this uh, first image and if we compare this together it only changes the character here, but for the background, it uh, managed to preserve the same background, which is quite disturbing to me. So uh, that's why uh, we needed the fine tuning steps, like uh, for the realism transformation. So all you have to do here is select the image, copy, paste, then run the fine tuning steps here. 
I have the results here of the fine tuning steps. And as you can see, we managed to create a good image based on the first uh, raw image. Here I am setting the noise value to 0 0.3 and it managed to create a more impressive image compared to the uh, previous one. The texture of the armor looks quite good and it is uh, quite consistent. The composition uh, and the poses of the image is also preserved while the express change a little here. I also use different denoise value and you can see the results here. A 0.4 denoise value gives us uh, uh, even better results for the color and texture of the image. As for the 0.5, the, the expression and the head of the lady changes while uh, the other details remain the same. So it's up to you now what you want to achieve in order to get the good results. And uh, using this workflow, I was able to change the style of uh, the image uh, in the generation time uh, less than two minutes. If you pay closer look here, you can see that it took me 26 seconds to change the style using the denoise value of 0 0.3. As for uh, the first image that we created using the first subgroup, it took me uh, less than two minutes. So with the combination of uh, the F sampler and the Nunchaku version of this Quan Image Edit Plus, I was able to do some image modification using the six gigabyte of VRAM without changing the composition or the pose of the image or uh, getting a bad results. And one last trick that I wanna show you is here on the style selector, you can uh, target any other style that you want without using any additional LoRa. For example, here, if you set uh, this to clay, you can achieve the clay style only by uh, clicking run. And as you can see, we have uh, here the clay version of uh, this anime. Image. All I did is uh, selecting the style. Then when clicking run, it's going to generate a new prompt here that's going to be transferred to the key sampler. And with the denoise value uh, of 0 0.65, I managed uh, to obtain these results. So it, you also need to tweak the denoise value in order to obtain these results. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, please push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to uh, watch my other video tutorial about Comfy UI. You can also become a Patreon member of my Patreon page, where you can get early access to my workflow and ask me for additional help. Thank you.